Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Lance 2285. This is a beautiful couples coach, great rear kitchen floor plan, and it's under 5,000 pounds. Let's go ahead and start up front here, we'll make our way around then head on in. And the first things you'll notice is this right here, which is your power tongue jack. Very simple and easy to use. Just touch of a button that will raise and lower the tongue. That way it simplifies the process of hooking up and disconnecting uh, to the tow vehicle. Then right behind that is the uh, propane tank cover. Easy to access this as well. You have these two thumb screws, just undo those, lift up the top here. Right there's your two 20 pound propane tanks. Lance does put the switch over right on top, so it is very easy to go ahead and switch between your tanks as well. Then behind the propane tank cover, you can see the rails right there for your battery box. Uh, this unit will come with one battery, but if you do want a second, there is enough room on the rails to go ahead and install two. Underneath that is your spare tire. You can see right there that even the spare has the aluminum rim on there and also nitrogen fill just like the regular tires, uh, but we'll get to that when we go to the back. Battery disconnect on there as well, that's cool, so that way uh, instead of having to disconnect your batteries manually, you can just turn that switch and it will kill all power to your camper when you're done for the season. Also you will notice instead of going with like your diamond plating, they went with a nicer rot guard, it has the fiberglass here, it has a really smooth look to it, and of course that helps protect the front end. And then laid in here are LED lights. The thing I like that Lance did, and you'll see this throughout Lance when we're looking at Lance quality, most manufacturers just take a sticky strip of LEDs, slap them on there, and throw some silicone on it. If you notice, Lance is actually protected. It has a nice plastic cover on here. So it's, it's not, you don't have to worry about it falling off. It's not gonna uh, get beat up on you. So again, just showing you that Lance takes that extra step. Now if you take a look at the gorgeous front end, you'll see the nice curvature here to it. It's nice and aerodynamic. Not only that, but they put a beautiful piece of glass right there. Nice curved glass on there as well. Frameless, just like all of your windows on the Lance. Really helps give it a, a nice look on the front end. And it uh, provides a ton of natural light while you're inside. When you come around to the side of the coach, right here is your uh, sewer hose. So if you a uh, you know, nice convenient place, rather than putting it back in the bumper, you can just store it right in there. Pass through storage here. So a couple things of note, one you'll see right here, it does have a covered hinge, that way you're not, you won't get rust coming all down your door. Slam latch baggage door as well, so nice and easy to shut. And it has a magnet, so when you put it up, it stays just like that. Now this one does have the bin, which personally I really enjoy. Uh, this is an option, you don't have to get this if you don't want, but I think it's phenomenal. Because this way, you can access everything from the door side of the coach. You don't have to go to the off camp side to grab anything. You know, everything can be right here, nice and convenient. So, uh, I personally really enjoy having that there. To make our way back a little bit further, as I did mention, frameless windows on here. A couple big advantages to those. One, they're just way better looking. Uh, two, the way they open, they kind of tilt open like this. So that allows you to keep them open while it's raining. Uh, lastly, the seals themselves are actually behind this painted part of the glass. So you don't have to worry about them getting beat up by the elements, meaning your windows will last longer. Uh, right underneath here, if you take a look, you will see a propane quick connect. So if you want to put a grill out here, you can nice and easily do that, uh, just pop it in there and it'll feed off your big bottles. While we're down here, a couple other things you'll notice. Uh, in the C channel here, what Lance has done is they actually have the cutouts. You know, this is a very lightweight unit. Under 5,000 pounds, they've done a great job. A lot of engineering went into their units to lighten them up without affecting the structure. And that's part of it right there, you know, just taking some of the weight out. Uh, and as we go through, you know, I'll talk more and more about certain things they do, but that is certainly one of them. Uh, another one, while we're out here, this does have Asdel behind your fiberglass. So again, Asdel is a little bit lighter than Luon. Uh, it's more expensive, but you know the, the reason Lance puts it in there, it's a quality product, they want quality build. It helps with the weight, it's a green material, it doesn't have all the glues and stuff you have in Luon, and it won't absorb moisture. So if you ever do get moisture in your sidewall, you won't get the delamination from having any popping uh, from your Luon coming apart. Then as we move back a little bit further, this coach does have two entrances. The cool thing about it is both of them have the double steps as well as the easy grab handle. Most manufacturers, again, they don't do that. They'll put just a regular handle here and a grab handle on your main entrance. Uh, but Lance went ahead and gave you a grab handle on both. Just because, you know, if you do go in either way, you may need that extra assistance. So this one does lead into the bedroom. The back one, when we go back there, we'll see leads into the kitchen. 
Let's take a look up top real quick here. You'll notice the Carefree of Colorado Armless Awning. This is a phenomenal awning. You know, you don't have the big arms coming down, so it doesn't box you out. Just touch of a button, it rolls out. Touch of a button, it rolls back in. With this particular awning, I mean, you don't even have to hold it. You just touch it and it does the rest on its own, which is really cool. Also, it does have an LED light in the barrel itself, so when it is rolled out, that will shine down on the campsite if you turn it on. Also, it's equipped with a wind sensor, so uh, if it does get too windy out, it'll go ahead and roll itself back up. You now, you can, of course, always turn that off. So if you're at a beach where it's naturally gonna be windy and you don't want it rolling up on you, not a problem, just turn that wind sensor off. Uh, underneath the power awning, you'll also notice two outside speakers. So that way, if you want to listen to any music, you can certainly do that. Now that's controlled by your multimedia center inside. Uh, however, it is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or a tablet, you can sit right out here underneath your awning, be able to control your music from that device. Another thing about Lance, take a look at this right here. This little badge shows that it is four season certified. Lance is one of the best, in my opinion, when it comes to four season capability. What they actually do with your tanks, all right? Most manufacturers, when they call it four season, what they'll do is they'll put uh, an enclosed underbelly, which is essentially like a glorified cardboard they put underneath there, which helps seal it in. And then they just run a duct or two in there, and that will you know, try to fill the entire underbelly and heat up your tanks. Well, Lance, they expect you to go camping in colder seasons. They want to guarantee nothing's going to happen. So what they do, they actually take your tank, drop it into essentially another molded bowl. So they have, uh, you know, a, a tank sitting within a tank with a little bit of space around it, and then they run air ducts directly into it. So those ducts are blowing directly on the tanks, guaranteeing they won't freeze. That's a big deal, especially if you're doing colder weather camping. That, you know, that definitely shows, again, Lance is going above and beyond taking that extra step for you. Uh, another thing about construction real quick before we make our way back that I'd like to talk about is when they do build these, again most manufacturers and they put the walls on, they put the walls here, they run a bunch of screws to connect the wall to the floor. So essentially what's holding your wall is the screws. Well screws aren't really supposed to be able to take that much weight when it comes to sheer force. All right, And that's exactly what those screws are doing. What Lance does is they actually take a metal extrusion. All right, That extrusion then kind of has a, a channel in it and it sits on the floor, then the wall sits directly into that channel. That way the uh, floor itself, or the, the uh, screws rather, aren't taking the weight. That C channel is, it's sitting right in there, then they screw into it and that will help support the walls. So again, just a better construction method from the very beginning. It's the things you can't see that make Lance uh, th what it is as far as a product. Right here you will notice this of course is your electrical outlet so um, you know if you do need to plug anything out in out here you can certainly do that. As we take a look down below again here, so I did talk about this on a spare tire. Uh, these are your aluminum alloy rims. That way, less chance for any kind of rust or corrosion. And when you're buying a more expensive travel trailer, you want that better look, which is exactly what you get here too. Nitrogen filled tires too will help for more even tire wear, a little bit better uh, tow experience while going down the road. Moving back again, frameless windows here. This is our main entrance. As I mentioned, easy grab handle, two steps to climb on in, and you have the uh, keyless entry here. So if you do forget your keys, lock them in. It is nice and easy to go ahead and get in there. Uh, one last thing on the axles before we do go around the other side. Uh, these are Dexter axles. And they actually have self-adjusting brakes. So that's awesome uh, because if you're not aware, and some people aren't, that over time, your brakes actually have to become readjusted with Lance, they, they self-adjust, so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to bring it in, it just does it all on its own. And again, you know, it's a little bit more expensive having those torsion axles, having the, uh, the self-adjusting brakes, but Lance goes ahead and does that for you. Coming around to the back side here, rear mounted ladder, and this is not a wimpy ladder. Take a look, it's nice and thick here, so when you step on there, if you climb up, you know, I'm not a small guy. On this ladder, I feel safe. I don't feel like it's gonna tear out of the wall or bend or break. I know that it's nice and sturdy for when I climb up onto the roof. Uh, beautiful looking, you know, uh, half rear cap here, you can kind of see they have the header up there, has a real nice look, kind of same thing coming down the sides. Just helps protect a, a little bit from any kind of water intrusion. Um, <clears throat> then as we make our way around to the other side here, a couple quick things. Uh, one, actually if you take a look right down below, you'll see the jacks. 
I like the jacks they use on here. Instead of the standard scissor jacks, you'll see they kind of come down on an angle. And if you notice, it kind of creates a uh, triangle in there. I like that as well. That helps zero out the forces. Uh, you know, the, there's a lot of static forces that are here. And when you have triangles, think of it like a roof truss helps zero out the forces. It's doing the same thing, giving you more stability for your Lance product. And then as we come around to this side right here, uh, this is your 30 amp supply, detachable power cord, that way you don't have to worry about you know critters and stuff running up in there. Cable and satellite right here, outside shower with both hot and cold access, you can see that. Let's take a look at the slide out real quick. Now bear in mind this unit is under 5,000 pounds and you have this huge slide on here which is awesome. So as we take a look at the slide, you will notice the Schwinn Tech worm gear on here which is phenomenal, one of the best systems out there. Uh, you know, it, it, it travels from both the top and the bottom, that way it pulls in and pushes out evenly. Also you can see the seals they have on here. You have a uh, bulb seal as well as your swiper seal. You'll have another one on the inside too. Now one of the other things that Lance does, and again as I said, it's the small things that make Lance what it is. Most manufacturers when they have their uh, they have their plates and stuff coming together here, there's this seam, this plastic seam. Well what can happen is when that constantly brushes up against that seal, it can start to cut and tear that seal. Lance has put tape over it so that way it won't happen. Happen. And again, I know it's minor, it's nothing that's expensive, but it just goes to show you the quality and care they put into this and the thought that they put into their unit. Then as on the in the slide right here, they're not wasting any space. You can see it also has a magnetic latch, very easy to put up and take a look. Not only do you have that huge tray up front, but you have this excellent addition, additional storage right there in the slide. All right, that'll wrap it up for the outside. I know it's a lot, but let's just go take a look at the inside and you'll be equally impressed. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Lance 2285. This particular model is in the Palm Springs interior. Let's go ahead and start off right over here. So uh, as you'll notice right up here, you have great storage. The doors do lift up and they are strut supported. So that way it's just one hand, nice and easy to get in there. A couple things I do want to point out when I talk about uh, the Lance, one is this is a light ply material which is extremely strong and lightweight again helping you get uh, or help taking some weight out of the coach but one of the things Lance does when they make their cabinet everything is residential grade and look at this if you notice there's no gimp molding in there it butts right up to the ceiling most manufacturers can't do that the reason Lance can is everything is CNC cut so everything is precision it is perfect it is exact time and time again which again helps give them that quality the other thing about it when I said it was strong I'm telling you if you notice I mean that's strong stuff right there you don't have to worry about anything breaking on you everything's uh, screwed and glued it just like it would be for uh, your residential applications and they and you know they go ahead and notch it out so on the back side of this there's a big notch that way the centerpiece fits right in there like I said it's just a very quality build in all of their woodwork underneath that you can see here you have two LED lights you actually have LED lights throughout the entire coach which is awesome uh, because they use less power and they don't put out near the heat a clock over here that's free no problem thank you Lance threw that in and then right below that is uh, electrical outlet so if you need to sit on the couch here and work on a laptop or tablet you can easily do so large window which is awesome this will be on your campsite of course so if you want to take a look out at camp just open that guy up and also obviously it lets in a lot of natural light as well right here you do have a key ring so that way as soon as you come in just go ahead and hang your keys up then underneath this right here is your couch uh, very cool actually this is has dual incliners so you have an incliner on both sides also uh, not only is it a couch but it's a jackknife sofa so this comes up and drops down into a bed so that way if you have additional guests need to stay the night they can go ahead and sleep there but while I have this up I want you to take a look right underneath so again Lance is thinking about you as far as winterization they make it nice and easy the water pump is very easy to get to there it is to switch over for winterization to put your glycol in here they're trying to make it very simple uh, you know and, and again you see that time and time again they're trying to make maintenance and everything easy on you as we come to the back side this brings us into the kitchen nor cold fridge freezer right here I'll go ahead and open that guy up you can take a look uh, six cubic foot so plenty of space you have a cut out there if you have anything taller like a, a half gallon of milk do you want to put in there you can certainly do that also on the Norcold, your thermostat's right here on the outside. It does run off of both propane and electric with automatic switchover. And personally, I like Norcold. It's made right here in the United States. 
Uh, a couple controls up here. This is your slide out. This is for your power awning. Um, as I mentioned, you know, it has a retract and extend right here. This is your on off switch for the wind sensor. So as I mentioned, if you want to turn it off, you can turn it off or on, just flip it up to on. Then some of your lights and controls will be right over here, as well as your LED light for the awning. As I mentioned, that is in the barrel. Um, take a look up at the ceiling real quick here before we continue on in the kitchen. You will see you have a vent right there. So if you are cooking, you want to open that up, you certainly can. Then you have a large skylight here too, which does a great job of letting in all the natural light. Now, the other thing it has, again, this is four season capable. So if you're going to be camping in colder conditions, you'll notice these buttons on here. What that's for is you actually have covers to put on all of these. That way it keeps all that cold out. So that's definitely really cool. It keeps out the cold, keeps out the light, and you have that on all of your um, uh, ceiling mounted vents. So let's go ahead and take a look right over here. This is the microwave, your weight on there, 4,912 pounds. Underneath that is your fully functional hood with the light and fan. Three burner Atwood cooktop with a cover. Uh, it did a great job. You know, you have good countertop space in here, especially with the cooktop cover and the sink top cover there as well. But as you raise this up, you'll see three burner cooktop, high output there right in front, and Atwood has excellent flame control on it. Big oven underneath as well, so if you do need to do any kind of baking, you certainly can. Uh, decorative backsplash on there too, gives it a nice look. Moving over, you'll see right here electrical outlet, so if you do need to plug anything in, you can do that. There's also another one tucked right underneath this cabinet here, so you know if you need to put a coffee maker, if you want it here or over there, you can certainly go ahead and have that done. Then as we open this guy up, you have a bank of four drawers. Um, you know, I get asked a lot about these drawers because, you know, they're, as you can see, plastic drawers. And I say, you know, everyone says, well, high quality product, why do they put in plastic drawers? Lance does this for your convenience, all right? The cool thing about the plastic drawers, you can take these out, you can wash them, you can rinse them. If you need like a separate wash basin, you can go ahead and use it for that. You can take it outside. If you're out fishing and you want to flay your fish, you can, you know, throw your fish guts or whatever in here. Whatever you need to do, it gives you that versatility. So that's why Lance does it personally. I think it's great that they do. I think it's a really neat system. Uh, and then also right underneath here, as you'll see right there, you have some additional storage. The shelf is built in. Moving back up top, this is our sink. As I mentioned, does have a sink top cover. This is cutting board quality if you want to use that as a cutting board. Very large, single bowl American stone cast sink. Uh, American stone cast makes a fantastic sink. It doesn't scratch nearly as easy as stainless steel. Uh, it's not as loud, you know, it's uh, nice and thick and it can withstand temps of up to 500 degrees. A lot of people, when they think stone, think it's gonna burn, not the case here. So, you know, if you're cooking something, you put a hot pan in there, you don't have to worry about it. It's not gonna turn black. It'll keep that uh, nice white look there. Windows on both sides here as well. So as you're doing dishes, if you want to look out, you can. And again, during the day, lets in a lot of natural light, whereas at night, you have the LED lights here. Storage up top, strut supported as well. So again, one hand operation, go ahead and lift it up, grab what you need to. And then additional storage right over here. As you can see, that does also have a built-in shelf. Then as you move over, this is the slide I showed you on the outside. So one of the things I love about Lance is again, this unit's under 5,000 pounds and take a look at the size of this slide. It is huge. You get an awesome u dinette nice and large, beautiful Palm Springs interior on there. Uh, in the corner here, you can see the pillows. That's, that's kind of a neat feature too. That way, if you want to, you know, sit back, put your back against that, you can do it. You know, these are long enough. You can have your legs hanging off, especially on that side. It's great because you have a good view to the TV, uh, which we'll go over in just a bit. Windows all the way around here, day and night shades on there as well. Uh, this light is actually on a dimmer switch, which is really cool. That's right here. So if you know you want to turn it down a little bit, if it's in the morning and you have guests sleeping out here, but you want to see to be able to come out and make coffee, you can go ahead and turn this down so it's not blaring, but just very neat. Up here, you'll see some auxiliary lighting as well. So, you know, kind of gives you some secondary lighting, gives it a very nice aesthetic. Now this table is not only very functional, as you can see it is pretty sturdy. Uh, obviously you can set everyone around here to have a meal, but if you do have additional guests, not only can you sleep on the jackknife sofa, but this actually drops down. You can remove this leg right here, you'll see the rails, the table sits right along those rails, fill it in with cushions, and this makes a nice large bed. The other great thing about this, if you take a look underneath the seats, super easy to access the storage. This is all nice and finished off, uh, ball bearing drawers on there, gives it a really great look 
look and again very easy to access that does have locks on both drawers as well so when you are traveling you can go ahead and lock it so after what everything flying out on you Another thing I get asked often, uh, you know, not just on the drawers, but is why this is so high. You know, why did they raise up the dinette? It's quite simple actually. The reason for it is towability. So as I mentioned, this is a lightweight unit. It's under 5,000 pounds. So they don't expect you to be towing it with you know, a three quarter ton pickup. If you have one, you want to tow it, by all means you can do so. Uh, but you know, they're trying to think of the person with a smaller vehicle, maybe like a mid-size SUV, like a trailblazer, something to that nature. Um, and, if the, and if and when that is the case, you want this to be as light as possible and sitting as low to the ground as possible. Because the more it sits up over the top of your vehicle, the more more wind resistance you're going to have, you know, the worse tow experience you're going to get. So, you know, when you're weighing or when you're towing something like this, you want it to sit low. And in order to do so, all right, they have to have a raised slide. When you have a flush floor slide in an RV, essentially what they do, they take this floor right here, they raise it up to the level of this slide. You have dead space underneath, but it has the appearance of a flush floor. When they do that, when you raise this floor up, you're raising the whole unit up, which is going to raise your ceiling heights, which again is going to give you worse towability. So instead they keep it low, raise up the slide. And I'm telling you once you get used to it, it's a very nice easy step up in here, you won't even notice. So uh, definitely worth it in my book. Then right over here, uh, as we move further up, this is the entertainment center, as I mentioned. Jensen TV on here, this is a 32 inch Jensen TV, and you have a Jensen Multimedia Center. Uh, the Multimedia Center does run the speakers outside as well as the speakers in here. It's a radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you wanna watch a movie, go ahead and pop it in. You can certainly do that. And as I mentioned, we were outside, it is Bluetooth capable. Now the thing I like about this is that it is Jensen. Um, that may not mean a lot to you if you're not familiar with the RV industry, but if you are, Jensen Electronics is one of the top name brands in the RV industry. The reason is they're built specifically for RVs. They can, they can withstand these shocks and vibrations from going down the road, as well as the temperature extremes from very hot to very cold. So even though manufacturers pay a little more for it, it is definitely worth knowing that your TV and multimedia center are still gonna work when you start camping the next season. Then right underneath here, you have some auxiliary connections. Um, you'll see right over here, you do have a couple of uh, ports, your satellite right there, and then you have uh, plug-ins. So if you need to plug in any auxiliary equipment, you can easily do so. Again, another plug-in right down below. My opinion, that's perfect if you're sitting right here, you need to work again on a laptop, tablet, something you can plug in there, or you can always utilize that one if it's not being used. And you can see there you have additional shelving for DVD collection or whatever else you wanna throw in there. Now as we move up a little bit, this will move into the bathroom. You can see you have a privacy curtain here to close it off as well as a curtain here to close off the bedroom space. But as we move up, you can uh, see this is your sink. Now if you do have to get ready in the morning, you will notice that you have a countertop extension right there. So if you need to set your hair dryer or something on there, your curling iron, you can definitely do that. Plug in of course for it's right over here. Uh, but otherwise, sink top, you do have so, um, some good countertop space even without the extension there, not bad. You know, enough place to at least put some soap toothbrush, whatever you need. Up top here is your mirrored medicine cabinet, beautiful light. Open this up, you can see great storage there too. Hand towel ring from when you're done washing your hands. And then underneath, you can see there's some good additional storage. Now the bathroom itself will be right over here. You can pop on in and take a look. You'll notice that right down below is your foot flush lever toilet there. Uh, you do have good leg room. Then up top you have uh, right here of course your towel bar, nice magazine rack up there too if you need some reading material. And then over to the side is your shower. Uh, so the shower you can see have a shelf, nice big hand wand and a skylight up top as well as a vent in there, is, uh, vent in there too. Now I close this guy, the other cool thing this has is this right here. If we open this up, take a look at this, huge wardrobe space. I love that they have this. So if you have a lot of clothes, you can go ahead and hang them. There's enough room there for a laundry basket or two if you want, so you have a place to put your dirty clothes. If you wanna use this as um, you know, a coat closet, you can do that too. You have the entrance right over here for your uh, uh, bedroom, so you can come in that door if you want to and hang stuff right up, whatever you want. But I love the versatility of being able to have that. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at the bedroom itself. Uh, so the first thing I want to point out is this right here, the bed. This is, one, it's extremely comfortable. If you take a look, you can see this is a Serta mattress. It has the pillow top on there. It is nice and comfy. And this is a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. So if you are a taller person, you don't like your feet hanging off a bed, no problem. Come lay down in the lance, you won't be disappointed. Uh, on the sides, they do a beautiful job with your um, night uh, nightstands here. You can see you have good countertop space there. Drawers on both sides, right underneath, nice deep drawers. Also, you can see you have electrical outlet. This one actually has two USB ports and a 12 volt as well. So if you need to charge uh, you know, cell phones via USB, you can do that. But I like the fact that it has the electrical outlet. So if you do uh, have a CPAP machine you wanna use, you can go ahead and plug it in on either side of the bed. Then right above that, you have your wardrobe space. As you can see here, again, hanging rod, you have that on both sides. Then moving up a little bit, this is that big, beautiful window I showed you when you were outside. Currently we have this down again for uh, lighting quality, but when you open that up, it lets in a ton of natural light. Up top, you have a shelf there with some auxiliary lighting um, as well. Two reading lights here in case you wanna do some reading. If you take a look up top, this is really cool. Fantastic fan directly above your bed. So if you don't wanna run the AC, you can open up these two windows, turn on that fantastic fan, and I'm telling you, you'll feel the breeze come through. It does an awesome job. Same thing as out in the living room. This does have the latch covers on there as well for winter. Uh, and speakers up here too. So again, if you wanna to listen to music back here, you can do that. If you're more of a TV person, not a problem. You will notice your hookups for TV are right here. Satellite connections, HDMI ports here, just like out at the main TV. Uh, and then again, your uh, additional hookups. And if you notice, this is able to take a 120 or a 12 volt. So either TV you have, you can go ahead and utilize either one. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Lance 2285. This one is in the Palm Springs interior. If you're looking for a great couples coach, this one has a beautiful rear bath setup. You have the uh, dual incliners on the sofa. You have the large U-shaped dinette. The bathroom space is nice and big. Excellent additional wardrobe. So if you're looking to spend some time in it, you have enough storage for your clothes as well as your food. This is one you don't wanna miss out on. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to go ahead and leave those in the section below. Or you can always give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you have particular questions on the specs of the unit or if you're looking for latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. That way you'll be one of the first to see future content. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.